Hello everyone, it's Elite Renilin. I've been on a magical girl kick lately, started by the new card captain Sakura anime. I couldn't help but get inspired and imagine a Pokemon world full of magical girls. Girls that transform into their super cute, super power forms and have Pokemon sidekicks that match their girly outfits. I'm calling it a top 10, but there's no real ranking among them, because they're all pretty great. But of course I think that because I'm the one who made them. So, beware evil, these magical girls will beat you up. Eevee! Who doesn't love Eevee? It's cute and has a billion evolutions to choose from. This magical girl gets new powers every time she transforms. Well, not new, but different ones. And her outfit changes to match the power as well as the evolution. She has a happy-go-lucky personality and wants to please everyone. Next we have Ninetales. Half fire and half ice. Her opposite powers match her personality. She can be a fiery hothead or cool and collected. She sees things in black and white, meaning she has strong opinions and beliefs that are not very likely to change. You'd think this non-flexible way of thinking would be a disadvantage, but it actually means she's able to stay true to herself and stand up for what she believes in. Personal favorite of mine, it's Paras. She gets her powers from the strange parasitic mushrooms on her Paras. The downside to her powers is that the mushroom sometimes takes over her body and acts on their own. Yikes. Curlia. Using psychic powers and beautiful dance-like movements, she saves the world from devastation. She is very in tune with people's emotions. Her powers grow stronger from happy emotions, both her own and emotions from the people around her. However, negative emotions make her weaker. Scotherita The slightly dark girl who appears scary and cold, but actually has a kind heart. Her powers come from starlight, meaning you'll only see her at night. She is able to sometimes see into the future. Predicting accidents and unfortunate events makes her easily stressed and anxious, though. So it's not only a blessing. Next up is Whimsica. This medical girl can get into any gap no matter how small it is. She is playful and loves to pull pranks. But luckily she only does it to bad people. But she's not very good at being serious, making extreme situations her weakness. Next is Laurentis. She's stylish and enjoys the spotlight. Any light, actually, she needs it for her powers to work. Subsequently, you'll never see her at night, because she's too busy getting her beauty sleep. She secretly worries about what people think of her and gets easily caught up in acts trying to impress others. Lucario, the tough tomboy. She can detect auras of people and predict their movements. She fights using physical combat skills, throwing punches as hard as steel. She likes to act tough to match her appearance, but has a soft, caring heart. Don't tell her I said that. Brienne. Her domains are masses of water, rivers, lakes, and oceans. She loves attention and making people happy. Since her powers are water-based, she doesn't do well in dry places. Working hard to please others, she sometimes forgets to take care of herself. Last one, Frostlass. This ice cold magical girl probably has a tragic past she doesn't speak about. Rumors say that she only became a magical girl because she enjoys taking down bad guys. 
helping others doesn't seem to matter to her. You don't mess with her unless you want trouble, so it's a good thing she's on your side. Hopefully. And that makes 10 magical girls. I had so much fun imagining how they'd help save people and Pokemon. Hopefully you had fun hearing about my ideas too, and maybe even thought up your own magical girl character based on your favorite Pokemon. And if you did, you could tell me in the comments, because I genuinely think it's really fun to hear your ideas. Thanks for watching! Bye!